Hello and welcome to day 14 of 14 new creative days and I would like to suggest for the last video of this set that I make some suggestions to you about how to draw horses. I have here some plastic horses. I don't know if you have any of these at home. It's quite nice if you have because it's great if you can draw from something that's in front of you. But I've also got a sheet here which I'll attach to the email and you can print this off and it's got some stages. So when you're learning to draw something like a horse sometimes it helps to have um, a way of starting. And I'm going to show you that and then it's all on that sheet which you can print off if that's helpful. I'm going to draw it in pencil and I've got a rubber as well. And I'm going to really encourage you when you start your drawing of your horse to not press too hard with the pencil. So the diagram that I've put out on this sheet uh, begins with an oval. So that's going to be for the horse's tummy, the main bit of its body. And then there's a shape for its neck, which comes up like this. Could be even go over there. Now, as I said, I'm encouraging you to start your drawing by not pressing too hard. So I hope you can see what I've drawn. I'm doing it fairly faintly because I want to change it. And some of it I want to rub out. I've done an oval. I've done a shape for the neck. And then for the head, I'm doing a kind of triangle, a long triangle, pointing down a little bit, which isn't like a horse at all. But it will become like a horse. And I think what can be quite good if you start with these shapes and you think, for heaven's sake, that looks like a, an anteater, not a horse. It's quite nice to put something like an ear up there. And an ear, a horse's ear is a sort of leaf shape. That can encourage you that that's going to turn into a horse. And at the other end, it's quite good to do a tail, which is sort of a bit like a flame. It can be all sorts of shapes, but a flying tail like that is quite nice. So you see that I've started with the oval, the neck, triangle for the head, given it an ear and a tail. And now I'm going to do the legs. So I'm leaving the legs until I've done those shapes. And if we look at my horse here, you can see that the back leg could start with a big round shape, almost uh, another oval. And horse's legs can be complicated because... From the big round bit at the top, that's attached to the body, it then goes back, and then it comes forward, a bit thinner, and then it's got a hoof. And the other leg on my horse model here also goes back and down. And you see that these legs that I've done are quite thick. I'm going to come back to them when I come back to all of the horse and refine it. But I'm just getting it all plotted out. So the back legs are much thicker at the top. They go back, forwards. The front legs are thinner. And this front leg that's near to me goes back a bit. And there's a hoof. And it's really nice on this model because that other front leg is bent forward with a hoof up in the air. So that's starting a kind of thin outline but if I look again or if you look again at the horse some of this needs to change so that's fine and I'm going to change it now by pressing a bit harder so the the horse's bottom is okay but actually its back comes down a bit so you take a bit out of that oval before I go up to its neck I'll leave its head in a moment this is the front of the neck and then it's got a bit of a chest here. And then that leg could be a bit thinner. And it's got a knee. So I hope you can see that I've started to change some of the drawing at the beginning. And I think its tummy is a little bit lower. That's why I told you not to press too hard. And that leg only starts there. It doesn't go all the way up there. It starts here. So I told you not to press too hard so that you could change these first lines. And if, as you start to see that it's a little bit different, then it can be easier to do that. There's its back leg 
and its hoof and its tail is fine so I'll make the tail stronger and then lastly the head so there's a mane it's always nice to give it a mane as well I did the ear and sometimes with ears you want to separate the f inside of the ear from the outside so you could have a couple of lines like that then the horse's head it's not pointy like that is it it's got a bit of a step so the forehead comes out and then it drops down a bit and then it comes out and instead of being pointed it's rounder and maybe a little bit thicker so it doesn't come to a point it actually gets rounder and then when you come back towards its neck Horses have a very distinct jaw like that. Oh, and I forgot another leg. Let's get the other leg in. Its eye is here. And I would give the horse a sort of almond shape eye, but then give it an eyelid above and below. And maybe you could even fill that in, make its eye dark. And then it's got a mouth here. And a nostril, which is a bit of a sort of tear shape there. So that's more or less my horse. You could make that a lot stronger. It depends how you want to draw now. You might want to just make its outline even stronger. Give it a, the hoofs. Make them distinct. And then you might look. We've got some really nice... Plastic horses here with different colour schemes, white ankle socks or um, different colouring. That's got dark ankles. So you might just want to get some colouring. There's a good colour for our brown horse. Or you might even want to make it more three-dimensional. If I look at, if I look at this one again. I can see that some places are a bit darker. So maybe I can put my pencil on more thickly in some places and thinly in others. So I might make the underneath of the belly a bit thicker so that it's a dark brown and a bit lighter on the top. This horse has got an amazing line down there. Down the, so below that line, it seems to be darker. and then above it a bit lighter. So that's the sort of thing you might want to do once you've got the, the body of the horse working in a way that you're happy with. The other thing you could do is give it a certain, so you can model it, model it a bit, light and dark, of the same color, but you could also try some other variations.